it would work better with the microphone. Good afternoon, morning, whatever my webcam is uh, not uh, focusing. Great, that's a great start of the show. Hello, my name is Yannick. I'm the French guy from Switzerland. And uh, I am going to try and learn some Flutter on this stream. Uh, I don't know much about Dart or Flutter, so it's going to be a discovery. I have installed and downloaded some tools, but not everything. So I'm going to try and uh, well do that live on stream if you guys... Um, have questions if you want to follow if you're uh, if you come live in the chat then you can ask your question there if you're watching this after the fact on youtube this was recorded on twitch it was a live stream on september 4 so leave your questions in the comments and i need to fix that webcam i don't, I don't know how but i need to fix it and if i do that is it better eh, a little bit much better Anyway, um, you're not going to see much of me during the main, uh, the main event. So, well, why don't we start? Let's switch to this scene. And you can see that it doesn't really matter that I'm in focus or not. Um, hopefully you can hear me, I think. I see the levels on OBS. They seem okay. Uh, I'm going to uh, lower the bedding music because it's always better to have it a little bit lower than uh, too, too strong. So, here we are. This is my terminal. You don't see the top of the terminal because of the uh, of the music widget, but here is the the terminal. This is a web browser where we are going to uh, follow instructions because, uh, yeah, I don't know much. So, hopefully it does a tutorial or something. Let's see. Uh, install for Linux. Well, I, I have already done that because that's what I'm using. Install Flutter using snapd. So it has been installed. Uh, once snap is installed, you can use the following command to display your Flutter SDK path. So let's try that. So it's going to be in home Yannick snaps Flutter command Flutter. Let's see if there's something there or not. Do we have... Ah, we do have a Flutter SDK. Cool. Cool. I guess it came with the with the snap. Uh, let's move on. So we don't want to install Flutter manually. We run Flutter Doctor. Run the following command to see if there are any dependencies you need to install to complete the setup. All right. Let's do this. I, as you can see, I have already done that, but I'm going to do that on stream again. So Flutter is okay. Uh, we are missing the Android toolchain. That was uh, to be expected because I didn't install them. Unable to locate Android SDK, install Android Studio. Unfortunately, it will assist you in installing the Android SDK components. If the Android SDK has been installed to a custom location, set Android Home to that location. You must also, you may also want to add it to your path or your variable. No valid Android SDK platform found in Userlib Android SDK platform. Right, so we're going to install Android Studio. I have downloaded that already because it's a huge piece of uh, binary, a huge tarball. So we didn't want to do that on stream, but I installed and extracted the tarball here. So there it is. Uh, we will install that. We have instruction on how to do that. Uh, so obviously we already have Flutter in the path because it's a snap and so it did everything automatically. Uh, let's see. As as of Flutter's 119 dev release, the Flutter SDK contains the Dart command alongside the Flutter command, so you don't so you so that you can move easily run. So can you you can more <laughs> easily run Dart command. It would help if I could read. Uh, which Flutter, which Flutter Dart, so we have Snapbin Flutter and Snapbin Dart, which is awesome because they will update themselves automatically. And that is great. Um, update path directly. Well, I don't need to do that. Android setup, install Android Studio, download and install Android Studio. Okay, so we have instructions. 
those are the instructions I followed early on to download Android Studio, but how do I install that? Because I haven't watched. Hmm, so that's the that's the downloads. If you do not need Android Studio, you can download the basic Android command line tools below. Yeah, I have Android Studio, so how do I install it? Oh, there's a, <laughs> there's a text file here. I haven't seen that. Let's have a look. Uh, unpack the Android Studio distribution archive that you downloaded where you wish to install the program. Where you wish to install the program? Okay. To start the application, open a console, cd into bin and type studio.sh. This will initialize various configuration files in the configuration directory. Okay. Optional, add installation home slash bin to your path and to adjust the value of the GVM. Let's start by doing the default stuff. So do I want that here? Um, what kind of space do I have? here 219 gigs free on slash opt which is a good place as good place as any so ooh, got a ton of stuff in here okay uh, let's uh, mv mnt data yannick android studio here and with sudo in front of that and then we will remove the root uh, owner so that I don't have to. Okay, let's see. We have some stuff, and we need to we need to run. Do we need to set change to bin? Yes, we need to change to bin, and then run studio.sh okay let's see what that does hopefully it's not going to download half of the of the internet because that would be boring to watch okay uh, previous version okay do not import settings because I don't know what those settings were let's start clean So if I understand correctly, this is based on uh, IntelliJ. Android Studio will be installed with the most common settings and options recommended for most users. Kotlin plugin update available. Well, update the plugin, well then. I am a, a most user. <laughs> so uh, if that's good for most users, then it should be good for me. And that update was something I was afraid of, that it would download half of the internet while we are live on stream. But what can I do? Well, what I can do is click this background <coughs> button, probably, and then click next here. Uh, yes, I want a dark, dark theme, please. If you want to receive any review, any change, uh, no, I think everything's OK. Uh, SDK folder, home Yannick Android SDK. Uh, Rainy, can't you put that somewhere else? Oh, that's that's where the custom option should be useful. Well, then I guess I'm not <coughs> I'm not uh, most users then. So I want I'm going to copy that because I have a feeling I'm going to need that next, and I want that to be. Oh, I can't do that. Yeah, okay. Uh, I want to put that in data or MNT data let's, let's do that properly and use the mount point and not the symbol link link MNT data no 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 opt Android studio that's where I want to put it restart not to apply not now no thank you so this is going to be applied Android studio location inside studios installed oh it doesn't like that okay uh, well, let's fix that and go to opt and then sudo mkdir 
Android SDK. And sudo shown Yannick Yannick Android SDK. Android SKD, yes, okay, yes, yes, yes. Well done, well done. That's Android SDK. What do you mean? Permission denied. Uh, let's move it there. Uh, there we go. Everything's okay. SDK. Alright. Let's go back to this and we're going to install that in Android SDK. Uh, the Android SDK platform. SDK component for creating an application for different Android platform. Okay. Okay. Uh, a pre-configured and optimized Android virtual device for app testing emulator. It says it's already installed. Okay. Uh, well, what ha what's important is that it puts that everything uh, puts everything in there. Next, so let's review this. Set up custom SDK folder slash up slash Android SDK GDK location opt Android Studio GRE. Yes. Okay. Everything seems. Oh, perfect, so let's click next. We have detected that your system can run the Android emulator in an accelerated performance mode. Yes, please. Linux-based system support virtual machine acceleration through the KVM. Follow configure hardware acceleration for Android emulator to enable KVM and achieve better performance. Well, I actually have a device connected to this machine and I should probably wake <coughs> that device up. There we go. It's up. Uh, finish. We will see if we need the uh, simulator or if we use the device. I can show you the device with my lovely daughter. That's a picture taken at Christmas about two years ago, I think. Two or three years ago. So I, I talked about my setup for Android while it's downloading uh, an emulator that I probably don't need. Um, the way I show the Android screen on in OBS is that I have my... I was looking for something to do that and there are lots of shady programs that you must install on your Android phone and most of them require a Windows component uh, to to actually work, which is not doable on, on Ubuntu. So I figured that I had a spare unused Chromecast and I also have a an HDMI capture device. So I plugged the HDMI capture device in a USB 3 port and then I plugged the Chromecast on this device. And because I have a, a Chromecast and an Android phone, it's really easy to mirror the screen of the phone to the Chromecast without any software installed either on the phone or on Linux. So that was great. All right. Uh, it's still downloading. I'm going to remove this Android phone. It's downloading. It's not doing that at a very high rate of speed. So I wonder if I can cancel that, but I'm, I'm afraid that... Uh, Oh, now it's complaining that it's going to run out of space, out of disk space. So let's uh, let's see. Oh, it says welcome to Android Studio. I'm going to remove some files from my download directory because I suspect that's where it's uh, that's where it's uh, using. Yes, hundred percent use. So. Do we have a folder that takes a lot of space? Mm. Apparently not. Oh, it's not download, it's téléchargement. Because French. <laughs> All right, I've got four gigs used by a Windows 10 Pro ISO. Oh, I can remove, I can delete, I uh, think it's D. The DaVinci Resolve for Linux thingy. I have, I know where to find that uh, and that. Okay, that takes 1.6 gigs. I can remove the 10 free stringer, stringer transitions. Uh, I can, yeah, I don't need stunt ready, really. 
Uh, fucking three 500 megs here and another 600 megs here and yeah hopefully we have more space now even gigs I need to clean things up but anyway it seems that Android Studio has been installed great uh, what am I supposed to do now I don't know I have no idea what I'm supposed to do. Uh, what did the the readme said? It says that uh, it will initialize the various configuration by default under Studio. Store all your settings in tilt slash dot config Google Android Studio and uses that to change. The, uh, I don't want to change the location of that. I would like to set up my uh, my emulator my um, Android SDK or maybe it did install that already it did install stuff so let's uh, let's see what Flutter Doctor says it will say that it it didn't find Android Studio because we didn't say where Android Home was um, how do I do that in bash in fish? I don't even know. I I don't I don't remember. But I have stuff here. set dash lx. Set dash lx. Android Home, and that's going to be opt Android Studio. Okay, what does Flutter Doctor says now? It says it is not working. Flutter plugin not installed. This adds Flutter's specific functionality. That plugin not installed. All right, unable to look at Android SDK. Oh, that's the SDK. That's not uh, Android oh, Android Studio. Mm hmm. This is confusing. This is why we need to to run this um, to, to run this stream right let's uh, create a new project then and see what ah your Android SDK is missing open SDK manager well it was not clear maybe it's just me though but I don't think it was really clear uh, we will install the latest and greatest Android Android he wants to know Android the Android SDK location cannot be at the file system root. Yes, I understand that, which is why I want to put my Android SDK in in opt Android SDK, which is exactly why I have this folder. Target folder in this neither empty nor does it point to an existing SDK installation. Oh boy. This is getting annoying. This is annoying. Uh, so what do I do? What do I do? Well, I do that and I say next. Next. And again, it's installing stuff. Oh, it's downloading the emulator again. So that's why it was not working previously because I stopped the download of the emulator. Oh boy. Well, I hope it's not uh, not too big. How can I know that? Maybe I can have a look at that somewhere. I should have done that prior to the stream. Uh, no, we can't. We can't have a look at that. And I'm afraid it's not doing anything. I have a feeling this stream is going to be a complete fail just from the start. Where does that go? Where can where can it save that? We don't even know. Well, well, well. It's not doing anything. 
It's not doing anything. Oh, there we go. It's doing something now. Oh, so it's downloading stuff. I wonder where, though. Maybe in this um, config, config, Google, Google. No, that's uh, that's a whole bunch of Google things. I don't remember where where it said it. We put stuff. Let's put this here and go and have a look at the readme again uh, which is not a readme actually but anyway um by default android studio stores all your settings in config google android studio 2020.3 and uses local share google android studio 2020 as a data 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 oh whatever potato potato uh cache so let's have a look at that What's in there? Not a lot. Maybe in meta? No. So I don't even know where it puts those downloaded files. Maybe in this, uh, in this folder somewhere? Find that, that type F, that name that name uh, SDK tools Linux star nope uh, does it put that in my download folder nope hmm SDK patcher no idea where it puts those uh, those files because it doesn't say. Now it's downloading the build tools. It's a bit. Uh, it's a bit boring. I'm not gonna sing. You're safe on this, <laughs> on that uh, <laughs> aspect of the stream. I wish I had some video to show you in the meantime, but so it's not in here. So if it's not in here, where can it be? It's not in here either. Oh, it might be in the SDK. Maybe in the SDK folder. Nope. Okay, I have no idea. Oh, maybe it removed them. Maybe it removed them already because they are installed. So let's see if we can find a platform file where it downloads that. Uh, yes, there are many platforms, files, but none of them. All right, okay. It did finish. Android SDK is up to date. Cool. Let's uh, press finish. Uh, and now we want Android 12, yes. Okay. And um, what's happening now? What is happening now? I have no idea. Nothing. Apparently. What does uh, Flutter Doctor say? Android license status unknown. Try reinstalling or updating your Android SDK manager. See this link or uh, visit, visit this for detailed instruction. Oh my God. Well, let's create a new project again and we'll create a phone and tablet with basic activity next. Uh, yeah, but no. This is really, really not friendly if you want to change the default folders. So let's create a Android Studio project folder. Yes, of course, I need to be root. And I'm going to change that back to me. Okay, and uh, I want this to be the folder. I don't know why I copied that because I can't even paste that. So I want that to go in here. 
Kotlin, là, yes, ok, I'm agree, I agree, so finish. Ok, and how do I accept the license agreement? I would love to accept the license agreement. I just don't know how. Uh, this thing is loading stuff. Okay. Oh, it's downloading stuff again. Great. Great. So get ready to use like half a, half a terabyte just to install the tools. Let's go and see... Uh, get started, install Linux Android set setup. Let's see this link. What does it, this link say? You can go through the Android Studio setup wizard. Didn't install the latest. That's been done. Run Flutter Doctor to contain the Flutter Doctor is located in Android Studio. If Flutter cannot locate it, no, no. So that's okay. But what about this status thing? Has it finished to download Gradle? Come on, finish to download Gradle. Oh, there's two of them. I don't know, that's uh, updating indexes. Okay, importing Android Studio project. Gradle bin. Come on, come on. I want to see this working before we start uh, messing up with Flutter. Oh, wow. I didn't think it was going to be so long. <laughs> Importing Android Studio project. Oh, and now Gradle downloads the dependencies. Yeah, like I didn't have any uh, enough disk space eaten by this thing already. Come on, come on, Gradle. Oh, I can put that full screen. Come on, crap, though. Well, you know what? Andre, the music. I'm going to shut up now.
Hi, Wimpy. I was uh, waiting. Well, I, I am waiting for Android SDK to finish doing stuff. Apparently, it does download half of the internet before I was able. To, I am able to even start doing any Flutter thing. So you didn't miss anything. I don't. Know, I don't even know if that's useful. But uh, what I know is that uh, I, I would like to be sure Android Studio is able to run some some uh, Android uh, to build some Android app uh, before we move. Uh, yeah, it's big. Yes, it's it's uh, like really big. And now it's downloading the. Now oh, it's updating the. Yeah, so we'll soon know if the Android. The studio install is okay, and then we can work from there to install Flutter. Okay, apparently it has finished doing uh, what what it is it does, and I am going to run that on the Nokia. So I'm going to bring the phone into view and run that application, which failed to install. Okay, suddenly, ah, some license, I'm going to remove the phone. That's, that was our problem with Flutter. Some license have not been accepted. To build this project, accept the SDK license and install the missing component using the Android Studio SDK Manager. Okay, how do we do that? We go to the SDK Manager. Okay, SDK Tools, do I need to, what do I need to do? What do I need to do? How do I accept the license? Build tools, Android SDK build tools. Okay, why is it talking about 30.0.2 when I have 31? Did I have a an old an old Android build tool somewhere that I don't know of. If so, how can I remove it? Oh my god. Can't they make th simple things? How do I install that? Uh, instead of the following Android SDK package, as some licenses. To build this project, accept the SDK license agreement and install the missing component. But I don't want to install the missing component because I want... And it's not even showing it here. What? Oh! Let's install that. Uh, yes. And yes, I accept. And next. And now it's installing stuff. Weird, I know, but that's the way it goes. So after downloading a half of the internet, it's now downloading about half of the rest. So I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to you know start charging people for coming uh, picking stuff from my own version of the internet. I think it's a good business plan. We should all have the whole internet somewhere mirrored. Building Google Play services in Oh, I'm going to do some fancy stuff. I have some fancy scenes. Look at that. Look at that! Isn't that fancy? Building Google Play services into a Godot game was a similar trial of SDK installation. Yes, yes. And I have tried and failed many times to install any Android SDK with the command line tools. It never worked. The only way I have found I could install properly install a Android SDK is via Android Studio. So, yeah. All right, let's try that again. Bring the 
the phone and my lovely daughter back here and run that thing. See if it does anything or maybe it won't. And if that works, then we can switch to Flutter. Which is going to be very fun because I don't know squat about Dot. Yeehaw! Uh, what's doing? It's doing stuff. Uh, I might do this so that you can see. If I do that, you will see. Uh, don't show this again. It is building stuff. Uh, now it says uh, deprecated Gradle feature was used. Okay, thank you. And there we go. We have our first Android app. Hello, first fragment. Yay. I'm going to uh, unload this. Okay, if I click next and previews, we have a working Android app. Great, but that's not what we want. Oh, it turned into... Let's bring that back to portrait. Okay, now let's run Flutter Doctor again and see what Flutter Doctor says. It says Android license status unknown because Flutter wants to use Android SDK 31. Oh boy. Uh, SDK manager. Show package details. SDK tools. Show package details. Uh, so if I uninstall that, yes, I finish, and now if I install that, apply, okay, what about the license agreement? Jeez, this is, yeah, the Chromecast tricks works well, yes. Yeah, I, I was, I was, uh, I was really happy to find that and uh, to to remember that I had a spare Chromecast. Uh, of course, it's more expensive if you have to buy a, a Chromecast and an HDMI device than using some shady free software that you put in your uh, on your phone. But it does work. Okay. And uh, now, no, so I screwed up somewhere. I screwed up somewhere and I can't, uh, okay, let's, uh, let's see. Uh, Android, Android SDK, SDK 31, accept license command line. Accepting the Android SDK license. Oh, thank you for the follow. Uh, ah, sorry, I just couldn't read your name on the little OBS screen, but thank you very much. I'm going to try and make my OBS screen a little bit bigger. Thank you. I'm going to say Jorge, but I'm not sure. Let me know if I did that right or, or not. So, um, go to, yes, like I'm going to go to C column backslash users. Uh, but it's actually the Android SDK tools. Uh, uh, Android SDK bin, I would say. Maybe tools, tools, bin, yeah. Uh, do, 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 edit, shift left click and press W. What? Then enter OpenCMD. Ah, okay. And then type SDK Manager dash dash licenses. All right. Why did I have to wait like half a day to find that? Why is this not even written in the README? Ah, there you go. Great job, you. It's probably not working for some like multiple reasons. <sighs> I hate this thing. Uh, what is it called? SDK Manager. SDK Manager. Uh, it's attempting to, to do a bunch of stuff, but then it will need a class pass or something. 
No, 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 no. Up, up home. Ah. <laughs> no. It wants Java XML bind annotation XML schema. Well, that's a fail. How do I tell? How do I? I I don't want to to remove everything. It, it did accept the license for the thirty dot zero. So why doesn't it want to accept the license? Go to. Go to where? Go to the local. Was that Google? Android? Share? Google? Android Studio 2020.3? No, it's not there. Plugin XML plugin. Mm. This is really boring and annoying. Licenses. Android SDK license. Okay. That's not going to help me. I don't know. I don't know what to do. Um, I'm going to ask my friend Google again if it can help me. Because if I run SDK Manager, hmm, there's a class pass somewhere that it doesn't like. Class path. Class path. So it it uses app home lib and then it looks for. A few echo up home equals up home and then run that again and it says that up home is home Android SDK tools um, not home opt opt Android SDK tools do we have a lib under there yes we do and we have a bunch of jar files Okay, so let's ask our friend Google. So SDK SDK manager class not fund uh, XML schema. Do 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 do. Uh, I don't want to do that. Do I have what what version of Java do I have? Could that be that I'm running Open SDK? Uninstall Java enough, install Java eight. But that answer must be like uh from the time of the dinosaurs. Yeah, twenty seventeen. Yeah. I wouldn't say I'm I having fun. I hate debugging installation problems, especially when I don't really understand what's going on. So, so where is where is that class defined? Which jar defines that? Jugs Bay. Jaxby Java XML bind Jaxby uh, Do we have something that's like that in here? By grep uh, XML We don't have any XML thing here
But what is the jar file? Jack something, Jacks. It seems that it doesn't actually uh, have that, so maybe that's uh, maybe that's a problem with my um, my uh, Java SDK. And it would be fun, and it would be nice if someone would just. Tell me what jar I need to get and and download. I don't want a user guide, I want a download link. Locating identifying the jar files. Runtime. JAXB API, JAXB core, JAXB EMPL. I have a feeling I need the JAXB EMPL. Where do I get the JAXB EM EMPL? The jar. Somewhere here. It seems very strange that I have to do that. I have to tell you. I don't even know if I have to do that. I don't even know what I'm doing actually. Uh, how can I download that? I have no idea. I don't want Maven. I don't want Gradle. I don't want Gravel Short. I I want I want to grab the file. Give me the file. Uh, I can't download it. I just I, it just it won't let me. Homepage. File pom jar. Okay, so let's uh, download that. Jax MPL. I have I have the feeling it's not gonna work, but anyway. Is it downloaded? Yes, it is. Jar tvf tilt slash downloads. Jax MPL jar. So it gets, it's got like half. Okay, that's probably not the one I want, but. That's not what I want. Ah, maybe it is? No, that's glass fish. So that's not what I. Poi, poi, poi. So we need it. JAXB MPL, JAXB, JAXB what? No, that's, that's not that, that's not that. Uh, what was missing? Let's try again and see if we can SDK manager. It needs javax.xml.bind.annotation. So let's go here and see if we can replace that by javax.xml.bind.annotation. Nope, there is no artifact for that. There is for Javax XML bind. Ah, that looks a lot better. JaxBay API, JaxBay EMPL. JaxBay implementation seems. Uh, Great, checks by API. Does the core? Why why do they have core and EMPL? Jesus. Uh two O two jar file. Ah <laughs> uh, yeah. Of course. Of course, we're not going to go with the beta version of those things. We're going to stick with the very latest from 2018. 
So that's the JXP API. I have no idea. I have no idea what I'm doing. And I can't even download any files here. So, yeehaw. Uh, so that's JXP API. That looks uh, promising. Which one did I need? I've already forgotten. Uh, Javax XML bind annotation XML sh schema. Javax XML bind annotation XML schema. Pipe grep schema. It is there. Okay. Okay. So SDK manager class path. Yes, it didn't even refer to that. So it's in home Yannick download. And then it's Jacks B dash API dash two point three two point three point one point jar dot jar. Uh, that should be it. We'll actually check if it is. LS that thing it does exist and let's run the SDK manager. Oh great, look at that. Corrupted package XML. I screwed something up. I don't know what, but I screwed something up. Is it is it time to reinstall everything? Might be. It might be time to squash everything and reinstall. Because I have a feeling I have made a mistake somewhere. And I don't know where, so this is annoying. So I'm going to scratch everything. And I'm sorry that I have lost your time, but this is a good lesson. Uh, do I have, do I still have the Android, Android, I don't have the, the zip. Well, I don't have the, the zip file for the Android studio. Great, great. Everything is great. Let's try just I just removed the SDKs. Let's try and see if it sees that and offers me to reinstall them. Already running, is it? Oh, okay. Yes it is, of course. Uh, exit. Maybe it will tell me oh you don't have a SDK. Warning, warning. No Android SDK found. Yes. Close tools SDK manager. Okay. And nothing to show. Okay. I want to install the tools and I want to install tools for 31. Apply. The following element will be installed. Excuse age in upon Android SDK. Yes. Your Android SDK is missing out or incomplete. Yes, I know that. Where is Android? It's there. I want this. Uh, yeah. Okay. Apply. Okay. Yes, I know it's missing. That's why I want to install it. Okay, so it's screwed. I'm screwed. 
I am screwed. Okay. This is a good lesson for everyone watching. Take care of disk space and everything before installing Android Studio. Gear uh, been li well, I why didn't it say star? I'm I'm stupid. <sighs> Jeez, this, this is the worst stream ever. Okay. Um, back to... Hopefully we won't need any of that anytime soon. So I want to download Android Studio. Yes, I have read and I want to download Android Studio for Linux. It's called Android Studio 20 thingy. Do I have it? No, I don't. Huh? No, I don't. So, yes, okay, save that. Ah, oh, Jesus. 935 megs. 935 megs. Okay. Well, when you screw up, you screw up. And the, the whole world knows that I screwed up. <laughs> Well, I'm going to... Well, I can't do anything else uh, while we wait for that. Can, do I? Because I don't... I didn't keep the zip file. Because I'm an idiot. No, I didn't... I don't have the... The zip file. Well, I'll know for next time. I need to keep those archives. Those doubles are y useful after all. <sighs> so why why don't we read the documentation while it's done it downloads? So set up your Android device to prepare and run test Flutter app on your Android device. You need an Android device running Android four point one or higher. So I've done that. We've seen that it's working. Okay, set up the Android emulator. Well, I don't I don't think I'm going to use the emulator because I have a, an actual phone. So it's even better. Would be better if it was plugged in, and so I wouldn't run out of battery. How can I lock the? I want to lock the uh, orientation. I don't know. So I'm going to plug my phone again. Okay. Yes. Uh, set up the. Uh, agree to Android licenses before you can use Flutter. You must agree to the licenses. Yes, yes, I am very well aware of that. <laughs> Uh, this step should be done after you have installed the tools listed above. Make sure you have a version of Java 8 installed. There you go! Always read the doc before you do stupid stuff. We need Java 8. And that your Java home environment variable is set to the GDKs folder. Android Studio version 2.2 and higher come with a JDK, so this should already be done. Right, if I had read that before, that would have saved me a lot of trouble and a lot of time. Okay, so the the JDK or the GR the, yeah, the, the JDK was indeed inside Android Studio that I just nuked. Yeah me I, I'm going to to add a note on the show notes and tell people to jump straight to uh, one hour and ten into the stream or something like that. Because <laughs> I just screwed everything up and apparently I had everything I needed inside Android Studio. So, yeah me. Oh, well. That's how you learn, I guess. That's how you learn. At least I'm testing my new um, my new screen and my new resolution. I'm streaming at 1440 at 30 frames per second and it seems to be fine. OBS says it's all green, so hopefully it's uh, 
it's also good on your end. Oh, if I can check that. Uh, yeah. uh, it seems okay on my test, uh, test chrome. And you were able to see my backdrop momentarily. <laughs> Did you see this one behind the webcam? Ta-da! Yes, I know, Martin, it's not green. I'm sorry. It will be green someday when I have time. I started this morning. I, w I wanted to have a, this new layout because my uh, usual layout doesn't allow for full screen. Um, and it's not uh, 1440 uh, compatible. Anyway, so I wanted to make a new one and I thought, well, well I'm going to do that like half an hour before I start. That's going to be plenty of time. And I ended up spending like two hour and a half, you know, fiddling with um, stream element and and OBS and overlays and stuff like that and, and setting up the Android thing. And uh, yeah. So it's almost downloaded. Ooh, 600 megs of, uh, of 935. To say that I'm using a 4G connection, that's uh, reasonable. Uh, of course, if I had like fiber, high speed and stuff like that, it would be a lot faster, but I live in a place where there are more farm animals than humans, so we don't have that fancy internet thing that you guys may have in, you know, uh, big cities. But it's uh, it's decent, and it has a very decent upload bandwidth that I can stream, uh, even at 1440p. Oh, I guess there's something I can show you while this is downloading, because uh, because Martin is in the chat and what we are doing with Martin and, and other friends, we are doing hotshot racing competition. Uh, and so I have made a video teaser that I have released this morning. And so let's take this opportunity to show off uh, this thing. Uh, that's in Project Result 17 hotshot racing. And let's play that. So I'm going to uh, mute the the music for now if I can find it in my OBS stream there we go and I'm going to play the teaser while the Android SDK is downloading And there we go. That's the uh, the little teaser that I've made with um, DaVinci Resolve 17. It was a lot of fun to make that. Yes, Racers Unite. So look, um, watch uh, watch Twitter. I'm going to post uh, announcements when we race. Uh, Martin has a really overcomplicated setup to stream zero latency, multiplayer, multicam, uh, multi everything uh, <laughs> on on his uh, Twitch channel. So I will relay that um, whenever we start our season three. Uh, we're gonna have the pre-season, uh, you know, random drawing of of cars and and tracks, and then I think we'll get into the 
into the things. Uh, so I have downloaded, I have downloaded my uh, Android Studio. I'm going to uh, unzip. Well, I'm going to move the zip file somewhere safe. Uh, yes, that. Yeah, I probably need to put my name in there. Android Studio 20, 20 and now I am going to unzip, enter, even. Oh, look, it created an Android Studio folder for me. How neat. I was already in an Android Studio folder. Yeah, I, I had a lot of fun with this, uh, this video. And the music was composed by a friend of mine, especially for this thing. So we don't risk any uh, any, any um, copyright infringement or uh, content ID or anything. So that is great. Uh, now, if I do mv, uh, if I do mv start dot dot, that will work, and I can remove this Android Studio folder that is empty and that that I don't need. Okay, this is Android Studio. I'm going to bin and I'm running dot studio. Oh gosh, let's do that again. Maybe it has a uh, cache or something. Okay, when will it tell me that I don't have the tools installed? Don't know. Tools, SDK manager. I don't have an SDK. Let's install the SDK. Okay. Uh-oh. Your Android SDK is missing. Yes, which is why I want to install it. I want to install that here. Yes. What if I install? The eleven. Your Android SDK is missing or out of date or corrupted. Huh. Okay. This stream is a complete failure. Failure. <laughs> I should name this stream how to not learn uh, Flutter because I don't understand why do I need to remove the oh, I think I, I think I'm going to do something something very crazy but hey you know sometimes we need you need to do you need to do crazy stuff uh, okay it says it stores things in here let's nuke that and it also says it's using is this local share and config which one did i do which one did i do i did the config so i need the local share copy current doc doc rm tilt slash and that let's nuke that too yes it's a folder I'll nuke and now uh, bin studio dot sh do not import settings next custom I like that Update background next. 
up to Android Studio GRE, yes. Next. That's not going here, that's going to opt Android SDK. Uh, something's wrong. Back on. It's live. We're live, we're back. Apparently. It seems that we're back. Uh, am I back? I hope so. We'll see. But we still have a problem because it didn't work because the, the internet crashed while it was downloading stuff. So Android Studio is now very, very not happy. So I'm going to nuke those config files, um, those folders again and start Android Studio again. See if that works better. Huh. So if you join the second stream, hopefully this is going to be faster than the first stream where I spent ha uh, an hour and a half making mistakes. So, <laughs> so just watch the beginning of the first stream and then come back to the second stream. Um, so in a nutshell, I'm trying to learn Flutter and I have spent an hour and a half doing everything but Flutter because Android Studio is a pain in the backside to install. So there we go. I've said it. Uh, the SDK platform, I want the Android SDK platform. Yes, I want that. I want that. Next, I want that that that's okay and i want to finish and i want to i want you to do that and please do that properly this time well it wasn't very happy apparently right access is allowed inside right action only okay well, i don't know what that means but okay but it's downloading stuff. It is downloading stuff. Let's see. Right, this is gonna this is gonna work. This is gonna work eventually. It is just downloading that emulator again. How it did install SDK platform thirty one oh three and now it wants to install an emulator. I don't know why, I don't need it, but why not? Worst stream ever. Yes, yes, I know. Worst, worst stream ever. I might. Uh, I am. I'm actually gonna have to stop at some point because I have some other stuff to do, like buying food. Apparently, when you have kids, you are uh, by law required to feed them. So I'm gonna need to go and buy some food. And apparently that goes uh, the same with the dogs. Who knew I would have to feed those every single day, multiple times a day. Uh, whoever said uh, developing with Flutter was, uh, installing the Flutter environment was fun is a liar. It is not fun to install a Flutter environment so oh look at that it's doing stuff yay did I see QEMU it's using QEMU for the Android emulator 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 yeah well 
potato, potato, crocodile, I don't know, alligator. Same thing. Come on. Yeah, so what happened is my internet connection dropped uh, just after I just I pressed it for its uh, its uh, upload speed. So next time I will uh, I will not say good things about my internet connection. I actually don't know if it's the connection or the router. Router, router, again I don't know. But it's installing. It it is installing, which is something it didn't it didn't do previously. Oh my god! I'm gonna need like uh, uh, three liters of uh, liquid, probably coffee, after that. Uh, at least, if everything else fails, I do have a very nice first fragment with the next button on my Android phone, and that beautiful. What's this mail thing? Ooh, replace with your own action. Awesome. And a menu with some settings that you can't see. I can't even see it on my phone. It's black and gray. Wow. Wow. What if it's all we get? Then so be it. But I would love to have something like that written in Dart and you know deployed with Flutter because because the next step once we actually have a SDK Android thingy running and we know everything works as intended the next step will be to build a an Ubuntu native application with Flutter yes because ultimately that's the goal Android SDK is up to date. Yeehaw! Yay me! So let's start a new project with a basi basic activity. Next, my application, everything is okay. Yes, I want that, I want that. I want to finish that and it's going to tell me that maybe I don't have a, a SDK. With all the tools. Because that's what he said uh, the first time. Oh, it's going to download Gradle again. Let's remove the phone from the screen. It's going to download Gradle and then it's going to build Gradle. Um, but Gradle might already have its dependencies somewhere. So that might uh, be faster than the previous time. No, it's done. It, it is downloading half of the internet again. So, it is... Uh, I've, I've actually... I, have, I, I actually haven't looked at the source file how can i zoom that uh view appearance uh how do i zoom is there a zoom something that's for search that's not for zoom um, maybe alt no uh no Control Alt, no. Shift Alt, no. No. Uh, is it in the preferences? Edit preferences somewhere? I don't know. Increase the maximum. Uh, no. Show me that later. Okay. Tools. Uh, last time it did something when I run this and it told me. Oh! I don't have that. I need to install the tools 30.0.2. So, tools, SDK manager, again, tools, show package details, 30.0.2. Apply. Okay. And I agree. Uh, next. Please wait until the installation finishes. Yeah, I kind of uh, have the feeling that uh, 
that's all I do. Wait for stuff to be installed. And then when stuff are installed, that stuff installs more stuff. This looks like a, a clickbait. <laughs> click and, oh, you need to click that. Oh, you need to click that. <clears throat> Done. Okay. Finish. Apply. Okay. But now it's going to want... Now, why would... I don't know. I don't know. But we know now that we have a GRE, a GRE somewhere and we can run the license acceptor thingy. But let's... Uh, let's run... Let's run our new shiny app. Yes, well, it's not shiny as in Eric's shiny apps, but it's shiny because it's brand new. Okay, so that works. Stop. Stop the app. Okay. Now, what does Flutter Doctor says? It says that that, that, that Android license is unknown again. And we know that we have a SDK manager dash dash licenses, which is not going to work because we have the wrong Java version. But we now know that we should have a Java somewhere. Find dot type f name Java. It's in JRE bin. So set dash lx java home equals home opt opt android studio jre okay uh, yes. set dash lx path equal the paths dollar java home slash bin space path echo dollar path yes i didn't screw anything if anything up java version it's still using my own version of java uh ash no you can't do ash with uh with fish how do i rehash the the path with fish Path uses opt Android Studio Jira bin, and we know that there's a Java executable in there. Well, we can we can always uh, see if that helped in the SDK tools. Maybe they will uh, pick that up. Mm, no, they are not. No, they are. You know what? Let's do this. Java home equals opt Android Studio Jerry path equals Java home bin echo, uh, not echo, type Java. The Java is perfect. Oh, okay. It's uh, now Java dash dash version. It's still a JDK eleven. Why is it not, or is it that I don't understand anything anymore? Opt Android SDK, Android Studio, GRE, bin, Java, dash dash version. So this Java is a an open GDK, G, JDK 11 too. 
I am lost. I am lost. I am lost, completely lost. Do I actually need a Java 8? Java 8 for Linux. Can I still download Java 8? Yeah, I accept those cookies. I don't want Java 7, I want Java 8. Oh, I have left the phone on the screen. <sighs> Working against Java 7. I don't want Java 7. Yes, yeah, so Java 8. Okay, that's the one I want. <coughs> Java 8 for Linux. I don't want the RPM. I want the Linux 64. Uh, Java 8, yes. Save that. It's going to be quite fast. It's only 80, uh, 90 megs. This is ridiculously complicated. I really hope Canonical have has a documentation on how to install a development environment f to do Flutter stuff. That, that is not like that because nowhere there's nowhere i can f i don't know maybe i didn't read the doc enough but those are the additional requirements for linux but that's after we have successfully several so desktop support which is available as better released yes but that's what we want That's what we're going to want to use. Okay. I'm going to save the table here. Uh, mv sudo mv tilde slash downloads gre here. Shown myself that. Uh, tvf gre uh, it's going to create a GRE 1.8 1.8 uh, folder, which is great. But I'm going to sudo mk mkd java uh, sudo shown clinic java sudo java and ta xbf tilde slash nope java jr uh, Okay, and now if I do set LX Java home, it's now in opt Java GRE something, and then set dash LX path Java home bin path tip Java. Java is now GRE 1.8, and then Java dash dash version should give me an unrecognized option, which is probably better better okay dash version yes it told me it was 1.8 okay so now if i go to android sdk tools and bin and then i run sdk manager dash dash licenses well look at that review licenses that have not been accepted yes <coughs> accept uh well yes i don't know what i'm accepting but i am accepting everything great and now flutter doctor Yeehaw! Oh wow, it only took two hours to actually have that. Now, Android Studio says Flutter plugin is not installed and Dart plugin is not installed. Uh, let's try and find that. Where can I find, find that? Uh, how do I install plugins? 
probably in the preferences or something. <coughs> Settings, uh, plugins. Okay, and I want the Flutter plugin. Install that. Yes, I want some of that. The Flutter plugin requires that. Yes, install that too. I want that too. What's that Flutter International thing? <clears throat> well, before we try and build some French installation, uh, French Flutter things, let's start and build some English Flutter things. Okay. It's reloading Android Studio, which I think I don't need after that. I just did, I just needed it to install a bunch of stuff. Welcome to Flutter. The Flutter plugin repos uh, sounds good. Okay, Android Studio provides several Kotlin project type. I don't want you to show me that. And now, uh, what does the Flutter doctor says? It says that Flut ah, they are installed. Why? 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 They are installed, so why? Dart. Dart is installed. So is Flutter. Okay. So, why? Maybe it doesn't know where Android Studio is. <clears throat> Android Home is that uh, gosh Flutter Doctor doesn't doesn't see that and Flutter plugins. On Windows, Android File Settings plugin, search for Flutter installed. You can ignore that if you're not using Android Studio in Flutter development. By default, Flutter and Dart plugins are not installed. Uh, you still need to manually install them. I would recommend VS Code in Flutter development since it's lightweight. Da, 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 is there? There's no accepted answers, so. Just install plugin. Yeah, well, if that would be, if that was that easy, we would not be searching the internet for that, right? Uh, so maybe it doesn't know where Android Studio is. Uh, so let's do this. Uh, Flutter Doctor doesn't find Android Studio. and then Flutter config dash dash android studio dear equals which then you can check with explorer okay Flutter config dash dash android studio dear equals opt android studio You may need to restart any... Thank you for the follow. Uh, Ralpha1, thank you very much. It's very much appreci appreciated. So I have said this, now what does Flutter Doctor says? Well, it still doesn't find the plugins, which is weird, but... Uh, Sheesh, sheesh, sheesh. I would very much love to have that working. Did the try say I would not worry about the plugin warnings. It's purely an FYI for users, and we've made it non fatal in newer Flutter version. Flutter would still work fine if the plugins aren't located. 
Cool. Okay. So let's not worry about that then. It is amazing that I had to install a very old version of Java just to run the license manager and accept the licenses. But anyway, we are we are here. Oh, look, there was something in here. Well, that's what we that's what I, I run previously, so I, I would have uh, to install Java 8 anyways. Linux setup warning bit da, 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 da. additional Linux requirement. Selang, CMake, GTK developer headers, ninja build, PKG config. I think I have everything in there installed already. So okay, when 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 will people learn that you don't need to use apt get? You can apt install things. Stop using apt get. Never ever use apt get ever again. Sudo apt info clang. Uh, well, I'm going to do search because search will tell me if it's installed or not. Well, it would if it was not. Uh, yeah, it doesn't. It doesn't work with regex. Grab clang. Uh, yeah, colon. Uh, Clung 11 is installed apparently. Clung 12 too, which is well, so long, not Clung, but uh, how about uh, CMake? Yeah, right. The office is calling me, like I'm going to answer on a Friday. Oh, Saturday. Uh, CMake is installed, Ninja... Uh, I'm pretty sure I have Ninja build installed too. Uh, yes, it's installed. And PKG, PKG config too. The reason why I don't blindly install that is that if they are installed already, but like transients installed, I don't want, don't necessarily want them to be installed as a required thing because I'm going to nuke this installation of... Um, of Android Studio and start fresh again uh, in the future. Uh, what I was looking for, PKG config. PKG config. Uh, yes, it's installed. And lib GTK3 dev. I think I have that, but that that might be the one I don't have. No, I have it. I have that. Enable desktop support. Well, I was thinking we could do a an Android app and then go to the desktop, but this seems to be this seems to be a, a tutorial for desktop apps, so let's see. Enable desktop support. Add the command line, perform the following command to enable desktop support. Let's do this. Enable Linux desktop. You may need to restart any open editor for the owner. Yes, okay. I don't have any editor set up. Flutter has support for building web application, but we don't want that. Set up an editor. You can build apps with Flutter using any text editor combined with a command line, blah, 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 blah. But we are going to use Visual Studio Code. So we don't have to install Visu Visual Studio Code because we already have that. We're going to create a folder for our Flutter project. Okay. I need to put my name in there. Okay, and um, we're going to run Visual Studio Code. And uh, now it's going to take over the whole screen. Yes, I trust the people who created this folder. It's me, I trust myself. Install the Flutter and Dart plugins. They may already be there. They may already be there. Let's go to the extensions and open that a bit. Look for Flutter. I might have that installed already, yes. And then, uh, is that it? The flutter, that. I probably already have that too, yes. Okay, so Flutter and that are installed. Validate your setup with the Flutter Doctor. Invoke view, command palette, so that's Control Shift P. 
and type doctor and run flutter doctor and then flutter doctor is doing its things its thing here that code has been updated yes okay i don't want to read his notes and now it says flutter channel uh, okay android tool chain develop for android devices okay all android li licenses accepted okay it didn't find the flutter and that plugins we know that connected nokia 7 okay everything is okay next let's take that for test drive on the trace on the test drive probably on the trace drive test drive don't know uh, let's go back here and and the create the app invoke the view command palette type flutter and select view new application project Control shift p flutter new application project uh yes in flutter project thank you uh project name well flutter application it's a great name Uh, on top of the name of the project, such as my app. No, I changed that. Wait for the project creation to complete and the main.dat file to appear. Okay, main.dat is here. So to be clear, once again, I don't know squat about dart. So that's going to be fun. Connect a device and press F5. Okay, the device is connected, so let's press F5. See what happens. Uh, let me bring the device on screen. And while we wait for that, I should have thought about that. Now the device would uh, take over the screen. I guess I can move it. I won't do that live on stream though. Well, why not? If I go to the um, Chrome, uh, Chromecast. Why not? Why not? Why not do that live? OBS is awesome. And the guy who put the snap together is also awesome. And I'm not just saying that because it's Martin. <laughs> well, now it covers my face, but uh, that, that, that's, that's okay. Who needs my face anyway? Okay, it's not really faster than the Android Studio, but I guess it's the first time. Maybe, maybe not, don't know. We'll see. This is a discovery. This is a stream of discovery. This is me trying to document the very painful process of setting up an environment for Flutter. Now the question I ask myself is why do I need an Android SDK and licenses and stuff like that to build up to build apps for the desktop? That's a good question, I think. Is it because it does actually compile and uses the Android SDK and then and then like transpile the binary to to a, a Linux binary? It, it is it is possible. It is possible. That would be a sensible thing to do. I mean, they already have the the environment that can generate the, an APK and then maybe just have a thin layer of system calls. Okay, preparing to install Android SDK Build Tools 2803. Why do they need... Why do they need... Oh, okay, maybe they need that. Android development has already has always been very foggy for me because you need like 2700 version of Android SDK if you want to cover 65% of the of the devices and then almost every version of the SDK has its own version of some tools so you need that too and then for the same version of Android SDK you need many layouts because depending on the f you know, if it's for a tablet or big tablet or small tablet or phone or it's jeez. iPhones are a lot simpler. An iPhone 10 is an iPhone 10. 
and there's no two different iPhone 10s. So once you target iPhone 10 or 11 or 8 or whatever, once you decided that you want to target one, there's one app and that's it. Whereas you, even if you want to target a version of Android, then you still have to deal with the screens and the, and the capacities, the, the different capabilities of the phones and stuff like that. Plus you need to, oh, we see things, it's alive. It is alive. We have pushed the button this many times, okay. Let's have a look. I am going to push the button. Yee, it is working. I can push the button. So we have a working Android app written in Flutter. That's cool. Send usage statistic for DevTools. It says, yes, of course. I'm all for sending statistics on good development tools. What's that? Widget inspector. Root my app, material app, my home page, scaffold, center, column, text, text. Uh, that's uh, apparently my uh, application. Ooh, fancy. Uh, let's move the debug bar somewhere else. Like, uh, yeah, like here. It sounds good. Show debug paint. Show paint baselines. Uh, what's that? Restart, probably refresh, I don't know. Ah, and it links to the uh, to the dot file and shows me what component that is. And that neat. I know a few development tools that can uh, learn from that. So that's an icon, it found the icon. Oh. Yes, I'm looking at you, GTK. You could learn a thing of two, a thing or two from that tool, which is fancy. All right, okay, so that's uh, that's probably the phone screen. Then my app, my app is in there, and I have I know the. I know I can see all things, detail tree, layout explorer, detail tree. <gasps> oh, right. You can really see lots of stuff in there. Uh, well, the screen is too small because of the, of the brother. Let me bring that full screen. I, we don't need the phone and we probably, we can probably move that over here i'm surprised oh there's yes there is a scroll bar i just didn't see it oh my god the level of details is really awesome so if i go down to the last bit and builder renderer where's my text Where is my text? Oh, that's uh, that's an icon. Icon. Navigator. Uh, lots of stuff in there. There we go. So that's the banner. We don't need that. I would like to find some widgets with some text in there. Well, it's, it's, a, it's a bit complex though. Okay, I'm going to have a look at that. Maybe I can, maybe I have to go, ah, there we go. So now if I bring the app back, and of course now I need to change it back because I want it to be here. Can I change this live? No, apparently I can't. Ah, it's a shame. It's a shame. I can't change that. Can I change it live here? And say it, you have pressed 
the button this many times. And then refresh. Oh, look at that! Look at that! It did refresh live. Oh my god! Stop pushing the button! You have done that. Oh, oh, I like that. I like that. So what if I, what if I want to have like Kunto times two? Will that work? Nope, that doesn't work. But I was ex I was expecting that. Uh, how about that? Yes, that is working. I have, yes, I have learned some dot. I am now a dot expert. So let me add that to my resume. Great, great. Uh, but yes, that's, that's the uh, Android uh, side of things. Uh, let's close the widget inspector here. Uh, but what if we wanted to do some more uh, desktop stuff? Let's go back to the tutorial. Over here. Um, run the app. Yes, we have run the app. Select the device from device selector area for details. See quickly switching between Flutter devices. If no devices are available and you want to use the device simulator, no, we don't want to do that. Uh, invoke run start the beginning. Wait for the app to launch. And press that. Try hot reload. Uh, we did that. Profile or release runs. Do not test the performance of your app with debug and hot reload enabled. Okay, so far you've been running an app in debug mode. Blah, blah, blah. It's going to be time later on to deactivate the debug mode. Write your first Flutter app, part one. Okay. Create the Flutter app, use an external package, add a stateful widget, create an infinite scrolling list view, profile or release run. Okay. I think I'm going to... I'm going to have a break here because I've been streaming for almost two hours. One of which has been wasted in installing whatever I need to, uh, you know, run some flutter stuff so i'm going to take a break uh, i have stuff to do for the end of this afternoon i need to fix the focus of that camera first and then i will be back later tonight with some real flutter stuff and not just fiddling with the environment so, thank you for the follows, uh, the two people who followed me uh, this afternoon. Thank you very much, very much appreciated. Um, I will upload those videos on YouTube. Um, I'll probably download them and fix that and maybe you know, join them together and, uh, and tell people to go and you know, jump to the one hour mark if they don't want to see me fiddling with my environment. So if you're watching that on YouTube, you probably wonder what happened. Well, my internet connection went down. So, well, I think I've said that already. <laughs> Thank you, Martin, for joining me in the chat earlier. And uh, hopefully I will uh, I will come back later this uh, this evening with more Flutter things. Um, I know I, uh, I promised a stream about the Jack Audio Connection Kit, which is what Jack means. Uh, because uh, some people told me, oh, it's very complex to use Jack. That's a lie. It's not complex to use Jack, and Jack is awesome. So I'm going to do a stream. Uh, now I don't know exactly when. Maybe, maybe just before the, the Flutter stream. I don't know. I, I can't make any promises uh, now. Um, to, just to show that it's not that it's not easy. It's not complex to use Jack, and I will switch from Pulse to Jack live on stream just to show you that it's not complex. So, uh, I'll be back later this, after this evening, um, this is uh, Europe time, Central European time. 
<coughs> it's uh, it's uh, <coughs> see I need to stop I need to go and drink something it's um, four minutes after 3 30 p.m. here uh, in Switzerland so I will be back around I think a ish something like that with some more flutter stuff thank you everyone for joining and I will see you soon bye bye <laughs>